Yo, what's going on guys, Chris Barney here. Hey, so follow up on video number two of what we previously did in regards to the event we're holding called Total Fitness Entrepreneur. Uh, as you guys know, the fitness industry has completely blown up, whether it be you being a gym coach or an actual coach, whether it be performance or to the general population, all the way to a YouTube or Instagram social media following. Mm -hmm. um, and through that, what we will be able to provide with this actual event is us to be able to encapsulate everything that we've learned over the past decade, how to make it more lucrative for you guys so that you can then turn around and if you're a gym coach, run a successful warehouse gym business. If you're a online presence, go ahead and be able to explode that presence and then be able to profit off it as well. Well, obviously, Ellie, you're gonna be speaking at this event. And one thing that's essentially made you uh, over millions of followers is your ability to be able to create influence. Mm -hmm. um, if you can, just touch on that for them and explain a little bit how you went about that. Yeah, so this term brand has been around for a lot and it's one that people are throwing around all the time. Your brand, your on brand, create your new brand. What is your brand? And it's interesting because when I started learning direct response marketing from my teacher, Dan Kennedy, he said that branding is dead and you wanna focus on influence. Mm. Branding is a matter of what people think about you. Influence is about how people feel about you and how they decide whether or not your brand is for them. And the key to being able to develop a very influential brand are the stories that you tell. Now that's just one of several keys that I'm gonna be speaking about at the Total Fitness Entrepreneur event that we're having in, uh, on the 31st of August. But here today, I wanna to talk about you, your story, how you use it to support your business on the back end, whether you're a content producer or you own a gym, and I really truly believe that you should have both, and why most people are doing it wrong. And, I, and, and I, I'll start there. Mm -hmm. Most people are doing their branding influence wrong because it's all about how fucking awesome they are. It's all about how great they are, they wanna put all the letters next to their name, they wanna have the highest quality editing, and it's all flash and glamour about their grandiosity. Last week I held an event called Grounding Man and it's about men taking their power back. And the very first thing that we did with regard to taking our power back was that we marked out all of the wounds on our bodies. We often try to hide from the things that make us perhaps or in our own minds, weak. Things like if you're a stutterer, you know, that's a wound. If you have injuries, that's a wound. So for example, strength camp started out the back of my van. And that was a wound to my business because I didn't have a gym. And when I did have a gym, it was a dusty ass warehouse and it was hot like we're sweating right now. It's a part of our wound. If you wanna, have, you wanna go to a nice gym that has air conditioning, don't come to our wounded fucking gym. My point is, that you want to take a good look at the stories that you tell that bring connection between you and the wounded public. Everybody has problems. Everybody has, they're either overweight or they're on, they have lack confidence. They don't have the muscle that they want to build or you could go as far back as psychological wounds that come from uh, being in a home where all they fed you was hot dogs and potato chips, and then you go to school and the kids make fun of you, and so now you've got a, a, a hang up about exercise and your health and things of that nature. When you write your story that supports your brand, it has to be very personal as it relates to your intricacies, your quirks, your weirdnesses, your, uh, you see, your yeah. wounds. And so when you look at very influential brands, for example, like Strength Camp, what we use and what I use, and to this day I consistently use, and you'll see it in the way that I speak about my wounds in my videos, where we follow a philosophy of not trying to fix it if we can't, but feature it. You see, this is, a, this is a, a, a total mind swap with regard to how you're gonna go about building influence with your brand. Instead of thinking about how can I hide my deficiencies and promote my flash and glamour, which is really what everyone else is doing. That's called Me Too marketing. Right. Me Too marketing is like, oh, me too, me too. Look how, I, look how great I am. You go right to the ground, you go right to the roots, you go right to people's hearts, and where they are is where they're feeling insecure. You see? So, 
I've torn both biceps and my Achilles tendon. That's created a lot of humility in my life, but it also has created a ton of compassion for people who have all kinds of injuries, injuries from sports, but also, you know, we have members that were born with multiple sclerosis, people who have scoliosis, people who have diabetes, people who have all kinds of problems that if they feel like they're going to be a part of a gym or a brand that's all perfect, there's intimidation factor there. So it's really about humanizing, humbling, and coming back down to earth where the people who we want to influence are going to be on the journey with us rather than we lording over them. Absolutely, and one thing that I've always noticed about you and what I hear you saying is, you know, you've always been the most transparent and you've always allowed yourself to be the most vulnerable. And it's funny because people come in here and they don't talk about your 600, 700 pound deadlift. Nope. They find that one thing in your story that they identify with. Mm -hmm. And I'm close to you more than, closer to anybody as, as far as in this gym. And every, I see hundreds of kids a month, a year, coming in and wanting to speak to you and be able to talk to you and it's all about identifying with one particular part in that mm -hmm. because what they see is they see a strong person on the on, on one side but they also see those vulnerabilities and they say that's what I can essentially move to attain mm -hmm. and I think that's a lot of part of the attraction wouldn't you agree oh yeah absolutely mm -hmm. right if I was above and beyond everybody mm -hmm. and I'm the smartest guy in the room the best looking guy in the room no one's going to be able to resonate and relate. And that brings, that actually pushes people away from your brand. So that's, you know, that's, that's one key component to sharing your story, whether you're doing it online or you're bringing attention to your, your offline brand. There are so many other things that are associated with the psychology of storytelling, including the, the type of language you use, you know, the key phrases that you use, the philosophy Absolutely. behind your training. All these things are like the soft part of developing your brand and your business. And that's what Chris and I hope to be able to do. Bring the hard, tangible, brick and mortar uh, systems really to you through the first part of our uh, event in, in uh, August. And then the second half where I'll be talking about the softer components, the psychological components, really the heart-to-heart -heart connections that you make with your members through the influence and the influential keys that I'm gonna be teaching you at the event. After that, we've got some very special guests that are gonna be joining us. We'll talk about that in another video. But what you need to know is that you are our special guests because we're gonna be doing a mastermind section. Uh, I'll talk more about it in the next video, but if you haven't signed up yet and you've got questions for us, if you have a business plan that you want to share with us, you want to get some feedback from us or the myriad of amazing people that are going to be in the audience, this is something you want to join us for. Absolutely. Like you said, August 31st, Friday, it's at the Tampa Convention Center. If you guys are interested, obviously the Tampa Fitness Expo is the next day and you'll be able to join us there and hang out with us. You'll be able to learn a lot. and. Like you said, the added bonus of being able to mastermind. We want to work with you guys one-on-one -on -one exactly where you're at. Uh, as you said, being able to work on the gym side of things, you, I think you're going to share. I'm excited for you because I've seen your outline. Uh, excited for how you've utilized influence to be able to build. You know, you were talking about branding earlier, but a lot of people use that word personal brand, right? Everybody's mm -hmm. a, a personal brand on Instagram now, and you're going to share a lot of the uh, for lack of a better words, deep secrets that a lot of these guys don't know right. is what blew up mm -hmm. uh, Elliot Hall. Yeah, they're doing it wrong. Yeah, exactly. they're straight up, they're guys that are doing it wrong. And yeah. I see them all the time on YouTube. They're yeah. making lots of content. They're making great content, mm -hmm. but they're not getting the subscribers. And it has to do with the way they're delivering their message. Absolutely. I'm interested. I'm interested. See you guys there. Done. <laughs>